A wealthy father and his son went shopping in an expensive shopping mall. On their way back to their car, a poor boy approached them. He cried, Please help me, sir. I don't have any more clothes to wear. The rich father threw a glance at the poor boy and felt compassion for him. His clothes were ripped and shredded. How old are you, little boy? He asked him. I'm ten, sir, he responded. Then the man said, Well, my son is ten, too, and I presume that his new clothes would fit you. The father turned to his post-looking son. Jeff, don't you think it would be generous of you to spare some of your new clothes we have bought? We could still come shopping tomorrow, the boy whispered. It's fine, Dad. The father then opened their shopping bag and took out few clothes which he handed to the poor boy. His face lit up in excitement. The father then inquired, May I know where you live? The poor boy replied, I live under the bridge, right down the street. He expressed deep gratitude and watched the father and his son as they walked into their car and drove away. Three months later, the rich man drove down the street looking for the poor boy under the bridge. When he found him, he took him to the car and brought out boxes of clothes, shoes, bags, and toys. He said, They're my son's belongings, but I'm giving them all to you now. The poor boy was surprised and couldn't stop crying. He said, But how about your son? Wouldn't he need these any longer? The man uttered, no, because he is in heaven now. My sweet little boy died some weeks ago of cancer. He had lived with cancer for three years, and we had known all along that he was going to die, so it was emotionally very difficult to watch him enter the final days of life. Do you know that on his deathbed, Jeff said to me, Daddy, when I'm finally gone, could you give all my belongings to the poor boy we met outside the mall? The father paused for a moment. With tears in his eyes, he concluded, You may be poor, but you have no idea how blessed you are to have life, something that money can't buy. I could have bought a hundred lives for my son if it was possible. But no. You may have envied my son's expensive lifestyle, but I'm sure you didn't know about all his struggles and health challenges. That's how life is. We often compare our lives to others. Forgetting that life doesn't come with perfection, reason why everyone goes through difficult times. So, instead of envying others, we should focus on watering our own grass and building our own paths. For as long as there is life, hope follows. If you find value in this story, please like, share, and comment below. Stay blessed.